Hi there. We're talking to Jim McLeod about distributed cloud services and specifically improving app performance. So let's talk about moving application services to the edge, Jim. Absolutely. The primary reason to do this is latency. You take a look at modern applications and whereas bandwidth used to be the limitation, how many bytes can I move on my large objects pushing out from a central location? Now bandwidth is relatively cheap. You can buy more bandwidth. But what you can't buy is less latency. That's a lot harder to do. So by pushing out to the edge, whether it's our regional edge ADN network, or as in this case, actual customer edge in store, that means that your app turns are really quick. So you have nice, here we go. Take a look at the results. Your baseline on your initial tests, it took 4.3 seconds just to open up that window and render everything that was in there. Nick, would you like to talk us through some of the additional steps that you used to optimize this? Yes. Uh, we took the scenario for a mortgage calculator, uh, which is a service that we created uh, in support of a reference application called Arcadia Finance. Um, and very easily move that container workload to the customer edge, uh, in this case, the application delivery network uh, powered by the distributed cloud global network. Uh, from a five. The value there really is ability to do so quickly without having to rewrite the application. You don't have to build anything new in WebAssembly or JavaScript. Um, in fact, in this case, this is a financial services use case, and this module was written in PHP. And you can run PHP within a container, and taking this container to a customer edge saves you time, it's much easier to do and you get faster time to value. So let's take a look at the example that of the demo that we had built out, moving this PHP container application. This is the before state. We have an application, Arcadia Mortgage Calculator, and you can see that it's coming soon. And now we're going to opening up the virtual Kubernetes that we already pre-configured ahead of time. And what we'll do here is we'll create a new virtual Kubernetes workload. Uh, which means that this is all of the metadata and all of the description that's required for us to configure this container workload. I'm going to call it the web server. It will have several parts. The web server uh, will load a specific um, arguments needed to run the PHP code in our container. Um, and again, as I mentioned, we're going to have uh, two containers in one pod. One is going to be uh, running the web server. The other one is going to be running the fast CGI process, which we just configured. And finally, a shared volume. Um, and this shared volume will allow us to uh, share the data across and be able to copy PHP source uh, to the shared volume in order to make this application run. Um, as you can see now, we're advertising this deployment uh, through Volterra and mapping the port 8080 into a HTTPS load balancer in one second. And Volterra handles all of the certificate generation, it makes it very easy to select your, um, select your container-based workload, few clicks, and deploy. So it will take a couple minutes for this to actually get rolled out on our virtual Kubernetes. And now we're going back into um, uh, Vault Console. We'll see that this workload is now running. It's now deployed across these multiple nodes across regional edge. And right away, we actually see this mortgage calculator working. So the application pulled it automatically. We can see now we can do a you know purchase price and some kind of down payment amount. And uh, once you punch in a zip code, um, the calculation now happens on the regional edge. And it's very, very fast. So the application um, that is used here is not the backend app somewhere you know on your old mainframe if you're an old bank or running somewhere on-prem. This is all happening on the regional edge. And you know, this is the value of being able to go to the regional edge very quickly with Volterra, just taking the container and deploying it. The one thing that we found is really a key differentiator here is that we have controls both for application deployment, workload deployment, and for networking and security in the same console. So when you set up your networking, when you set up the security, they are already aware of the individual workloads and where those workloads are running. And that makes it really, really easy to take those workloads and virtually export them wherever you want to any other site. And that kind of integration just isn't that common out there. It's something that everybody needs and it's something that we built. It's a good point. And it's easy to get started. 
we have uh, the link to get started with Distributed Cloud below. And thank you, Jim, for taking the time. And let's talk about multi-cloud networking next. Absolutely.